Navigating a career is more complicated than ever with an increasingly ambiguous working climate and job options changing almost daily. Applications are now open for tertiary study in 2016, so the teenagers in your life might be under pressure to make some big calls. Here with what to focus on is careers expert Laurel McClay. Uh, Laurel, good morning. Good morning, Paul. Um, you know, here's the funny thing. You don't want to be boxing uh, teenagers into a certain direction too soon, do you? I just don't think you have the choice to do that anymore, you know, and um, and it's really about them understanding that career is, uh, finding your career, it's a lifelong journey, and so they don't need to box themselves in because um, there's no box to stay so in. So is it, I mean, quite often it isn't actually going to be a career, is it? It's going to be a working life, which is going to have this sort of, you know, a range of different, sometimes quite different things involved in it. One of the interesting um, trends is towards portfolio careers, mm. which is someone might just be... i phrase. Yes, mm. I know, it's a little, little... It's a bit trite, isn't it? <laughs> But I like the idea of it, kind of like packing up a little suitcase of different mm. roles that you have, and you might be doing more than one at a given time. I don't want to be a brain surgeon anymore. <laughs> I'm going to be a used car dealer. Um, so how do you prepare a child for that then? Well, you've got your traditional s s sources, and there's quite a lot of support available. So it really, I think, depends on the school as far as traditional career advice. Some schools do it particularly well, and some schools don't do it very well at all. But I mean, this, I suppose what we're saying is how can you even give careers advice in a climate like this? If you think that 65% uh, of people, children who start school today, are going to be in roles that don't even exist yet, you're absolutely right. Mm. So that's more about them understanding what their talents are and having those resourceful um, th things like being able to go to work and in your teenage years and understanding what bullying is like, understanding politics. That's sort of the thing that's going to set them up to so be able to, to have a career. So to vision yeah, definitely. and with a good basic education. Good basic education. Well, that's an interesting question you say about education because education is changing so much. Uh, did you know that you can now actually do any of the Harvard courses online? We could do that. The majority of them are free. Mm. Uh, and Auckland University has a great a great online uh, course called Future Learn. And so it's not going to be that one person in front of 500 in a really boring lecture theatre anymore. It's going to be people at home, maybe with a mentor or a coach. In places like China and India, there's groups of people converging in living rooms, sharing their experience from doing an online Harvard course mm. and having a mentor. All right, so Laurel, when you've got young, when you've got young teenagers, do you, what do you say to them when they say, oh, we don't know what we want to do? I'm, I'm quite worried about it. I don't know what I want to do. What do you say to them? Well, I do think that the Careers uh, Government website has some really good options. What is God? It's got little stories and anecdotes of people who've actually gone out and found that. But really, they need to look at experiencing the work. They can do that by getting part-time work or they can do it by internships. But I don't know how much you know about internships. I'm a little suspect about them because a lot of people who are going out there and making coffees and vacuuming for so-called work experience, yeah. you know. Are only learning how to make coffees and They're vacuum. They're learning that, yeah. yeah. Um, is it right to say to a child, though, look, it doesn't matter. Don't worry, don't sweat this. It does, if in 10 years' time you don't know what you want to do, it actually doesn't matter. Is that reasonable? That is reasonable. Of course it is. They've got to understand to be flexible and resourceful. And it's like five-year plans don't really exist anymore, do they? Be capable. No, that's exactly right. So learn how to be capable. As long as you can read and you can write and you're interested in your broader vision. We oh, celebrate the polymath, you know. Just, just just to celebrate everything about you. And you're going to be able to commercialise that somehow. That's yeah, the exciting thing about today. Laurel, thank you very much for joining <laughs> thank us. Thank you, Paul. Uh, Laurel Clay, 